UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talk about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in the range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin, the right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost beautiful. like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, the problem. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your corner. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Opens with the inside leg kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick.
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he eats a right hand there. Hands were working well. Now Masvidal choosing to kick and finding success in that world, too. I've seen this in strike force. Jorge Masvidal has everything at his disposal. He has every ability that you need in order to become a UFC champion. And right now, he looks like he's having a performance that may lead him to that title shot. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big elbow. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Lunges forward with a left air. Masvidal gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He got that him. one appeared to stun him. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Some real power shots here. So 28 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Big punch land over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Wow, what a fight. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Dig and kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Educated jab there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. But not even just a jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on his strikes. He's just letting it flow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, single collar tie now. Under a minute now to go in this one. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh! He's close. He's hurt bad. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, round two. Nice move for punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Way to hide that leg slip. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Game break. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! And they separate. Nice punch there. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has the ability. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wow! Oh! And that one was heavy. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. 90 seconds remain in the round. 70 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Well, not the most. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Out of range with that one. Oh! Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by no! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and 
Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.